number of other local stories I haven't gotten to yet. It's the 9 o'clock hour where we just make sure we get to everything we need to get to. And boy, is this something we need to get to. Because coming up here, uh, not so very far away, December 6th, next week, I'm heading out to Glen Eagles in Plano. I get to MC the most wonderful thing with my friends at Texas Values txvalues.org, txvalues.org. And so if I'm emceeing something, it's like, okay, well, what is it? Whom will you be introducing? Whom will you bring to the stage uh, to impart wisdom? Well, it doesn't get any better than this. What a hero this young lady has been. Is there anybody who has packed more high-quality activism into a pretty short window than Riley Gaines? And it is born of her experience. Nothing like dropping a dude into the pool next to you. Uh, to motivate you uh, to save women's sports, and she will be our keynote speaker. And then you throw in Kelly Shackleford of First Liberty, hero to me only forever, fighting for all these religious freedom cases, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All of this in the direct wheelhouse of Texas Values. And the head of Texas Values, my buddy Jonathan Sines, will talk a little bit about what we're going to do at that event and what they've been up to. Jonathan, welcome. How you doing, sir? Good morning, sir. I'm doing great. Good to hear your voice. It is great to hear from you. Hey, real quick, let's brag on the family. Holiday season's about family. Did you just put a kid in the University of Houston? Yeah, well, he's not enrolled there yet. He's been admitted to the College of Engineering. And so, you know, he's got his heart set on being a Longhorn, uh, but he wants to, you know, look at certain, you know, the options uh, out there before he makes his final decision. But, you know, as a graduate of University of Houston Law Center myself, being a native Houstonian, uh, I know that it doesn't always play well in the Dallas-Fort Worth market, <laughs> but, uh, but but you know what's funny, Mark, is my both of my boys were born in Dallas when I was working for Kelly Shackelford, and they talked me into becoming a Cowboys fan, Dallas Cowboys fan, and so you know when I go back home to Houston, oh I guess I you know now that now that I'm a Cowboys fan, but you know it's it's important how we're raising our kids and what they're learning, and because this culture we're involved in, you know Riley Gaines is going to talk about these issues at our event. December 6th in Plano, and, you know, they're very challenging. So I'm just hoping and praying that I've prepared them well. Precisely right, because here's something that plays no matter what Texas media market you live in, no matter what sports team you root for. We always root for our kids to take a good path and make good decisions. And that's harder to do when so many grown-ups are making crappy decisions. There are grown-ups who believe that it's okay to have a biological man. You know what? I, I Riley has been a hero to me even on this. Stop saying biological man. Of course, you're a man. You are a man. It is the only kind of man to be. It's the only kind of woman to be is biological. Duh, that's what defines it, is biology, chromosomes, et cetera, et cetera. So I revise and extend my remarks. There are adults who think that it's okay for men to be on the field of athletic endeavor or in a pool or in a track meet or who knows wherever else against women. And so when Riley Gaines talks about saving women's sports, she has lived that odd nightmare. And you know what the weird thing is, Jonathan? The usual folks who say they're all about women, most liberal feminists, not on board. Why do you think? You know, I think this issue has gotten uncomfortable for them, right? I think if they're if they're not on social media, when they think about it in their own mind, maybe in private conversations, they're probably starting to go, you know what, I'm not sure this is a good idea, but they didn't, you know, they didn't want to believe it would actually become a problem. And so, but, you know, a lot of people are communicating publicly. Martina Navratilova, so one of the most famous tennis players, women tennis players, um, she's been a, a lesbian, probably one of the first sports athletes to announce publicly um, of that many years ago, right? She has been very much on Riley Gaines' side, on our side, if you will, saying it's not right for men to be competing in women's sports. You see more athletes. Um, David Pollock, who is a broadcaster for ESPN, he was uh, one of the top football players for the University of Georgia, has been out there talking about this issue recently. So more and more people are going, you know what? Riley Gaines is right. You know, the, the common sense is right on this issue. And I want people to know in Texas, Riley Gaines has been a huge help to us. You know, we have a new law that protects women in college sports that makes it clear at the collegiate level that men cannot compete against women in collegiate sports in the state of Texas and our universities. Riley Gaines came and testified in favor of this bill. She was a part of press conferences. You know, she put skin in the game, if you will, and, you know, put her personal time into it. We had to get private security for her, though, at the Capitol, because some of the people on the other side were so ugly. So she's been a real champion 
for our cause. And, and it's been it's made a huge difference. I mean, when stuff like this happens in Texas, you know, the rest of the country takes notice. So we're excited about having her in person. Uh, you know, Mark, and this is where, you know, maybe you're you're connecting with the younger people. My daughter, who's 13 years old, she's like, Dad, can I come to your event? And so it's going to be exciting. There you go. And Kelly Shackleford to talk about the kind of religious liberty issues that you guys fight for all the time. So let's take a quick tour through those, because in coming to the Texas Values Luncheon, TXValues.org for tickets, TXValues.org. Uh, December 6th, Glenn Eagles in Plano. I'm EMC. Riley Gaines is there. Kelly Shackleford's there. Jonathan's there. We're all going to hang out and have a fantastic time. And it all goes for the benefit of Texas Values, which is a broad term that means a lot of things. Let's go down a little tick list because you guys drew attention to something that's been a very big deal in the legislature and has had a very unsatisfying path. Tell me about Texas Values support for school choice and just give me as a longtime observer of the scene why you think it's been so hard uh, to, to, to get something that the vast majority of Texans think is a good idea. Yeah, well, look, and if people don't know our work, txvalues.org, we're a Christian-based nonprofit organization. We have a comprehensive approach to advocacy, whether it's in the courts, the legislature, the media, elections. We want to make sure faith, family, and freedom and life is protected in Texas. And that includes parental rights. That includes educational freedom, like the issue of school choice. And so, I mean, I think we've what we've seen is the Democrats and also the teacher unions and all the funding that they get and, and you know, dump into Texas has had a huge impact, including on some Republicans, mainly some rural Republicans, some Republicans that have decided uh, now that they voted against parental rights and school choice, if you will, have decided they're not going to run for reelection. And so and that's disappointing. And I do think that the Speaker of the House, Dave Phelan, has some responsibility on that as well. I mean, school choice has passed the Texas Senate with the leadership of Lieutenant Governor Patrick so many times, you know, 30 other states have some version of school choice. In many of those states, uh, Mark, it's a bipartisan issue, right? I mean, it polls really well with Democrats and with Republicans. Uh, but all the Democrats decided, many of them, that have their kids in private school, hey, it's good for me, but I don't want you to have that same opportunity as well. They want to keep kids, some kids trapped in public school. And only a small percentage of kids leave the public school, if you will, when educational choice opportunities open up. So it's not like you're going to see um, a, a huge difference, but there are those certain percentage of kids that could benefit. And why not? Why not allow the child to be able to go to the school that fits that child best? And all the, the options that were presented, Mark, still allowed for funding to go to public schools for those students, even though those schools didn't have to teach them anymore. So disappointing. And I think it's going to be an election issue. I think we'll see it talked about you know, Senator Cruz has said this is a civil rights movement, you know, issue of our time. And so, you know, and look, with all this stuff happening, boys undressing in girls locker rooms and all this other stuff going on, LGBT ideology, critical race theory, treating parents like domestic terrorists, all this kind of stuff is many reasons why parents are saying, I want some different options. And the public school is feeling a lot of heat. And there are a lot of great public schools out there. I went to public school, but there are many that are off track and kids should have that option. Parents should have that option. These are the people you will support by showing up December 6th at Glen Eagles in Plano. We're going to have a fantastic luncheon. It is the Texas Values Gathering here in DFW and at TXValues.org for tickets. And Riley Gaines is our keynote, and Kelly Shackelford is there, and Jonathan will be there, and I get to MC the whole shooting match. I could not be more thrilled. So, Jonathan, well, thank you again for having me. Go, once again, go ahead. Yeah, no, I look, I'm excited about you MCing because your voice is so well known. It's well respected. You're in the fight, okay? You're you're there when we need to talk about the pro life issues, about the faith and family issues, about the common sense values that we need to protect in our state. So, it is a joy and an honor to have you as a part of the program. People can get their tickets at txvalues.org. We're going to sell out pretty soon. We want to be there and, you know, bring your young daughter, bring whoever you have an athletic. You'll be inspired by Riley Gaines, by Kelly Shackleford, and we're giving out awards to the House and Senate members who were the leaders on pro-life, religious freedom, and faith and family issues whoa, this session. Whoa, uh, getting that's spectacular. Just spectacular. And listen, let me throw a little attention to something where I have been a guest of yours there on the Texas Values Report. If you're at txvalues.org, click that Texas Values Report, uh, which is just a sort of podcast broadcast uh, thing you can listen to and watch there at txvalues.org. Jonathan, thank you, my friend. Safe travels, and uh, we'll see you in a few days, and looking forward to the whole the whole event. Yeah, on December 6th.
December 6th, txvalues.org for tickets. Glenn Eagles in Plano. Riley Gaines, Kelly Shackelford, Jonathan, me, you, all in the same room. What's not to love? 